Um, I'm gonna get you those two cartridges and anything you might else. Um, hi guys. Sorry, we're having a bit of trouble getting the camera online there. It seems to be working now. We're just gonna mute that as I'm getting feedback from my laptop. Right, I'm gonna go take a quick trip now because the kitchen have some donation requests, uh, which we're gonna try and capture. If we can get that off them, uh, then we'll go see what's happening at the front of the square. So uh, just bear with me, guys. So air is human. Exactly. So forgive is fine. Yeah. I think yeah. I can speak to. Uh, Mark, we're 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 speaking now. If you want to put demands, uh, sorry, request a donation request for the kitchen. Bear with us, guys. Hey, guys, are we are we live? Uh, yeah, we're live. So, uh, okay. if you want to introduce yourself and whenever you're ready to give us uh, to give us a list of the kitchen kitchen donation requests. Oh cool, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what we're mainly looking for now, guys, is kitchen utensils. We still have to pots and pans. Um, also, if anybody can bring down any kitchen roll, anything that cover tables and stuff like that, just disposable paper rolls and anything, anything basically on that line. And also, like to really stress, we're asking for only vegan food, just so. That accessible to everybody we and don't have to worry about contamination or it's also like yeah that. cross contamination issue if it's vegan food we don't really have to worry about that nearly as much if we have meat and dairy so strictly vegan if we can that way everyone can eat and it's going to be more sanitary for us the biggest issue right now is uh, they've come by a few times and we are expecting almost without a doubt that we're going to get an uh, inspection from uh, health services whatever uh, environmental health and probably fire safety the, the whole shebang basically yeah, yeah. and so we're uh, we're getting going, trying to get up a proper kitchen today. Um, we're not going to be cooking any more hot food until we are satisfied that we have a sanitary kitchen that's going to pass inspection. But um, in that regard, that's the type of thing that we're looking for. Yeah. Um, so also, uh, we've got some coming apparently, but some plastic tables that can be wiped down. Yeah, yeah. Um, big, large. Tupperware bins, um, storage for storage, for food storage. Um, also, uh, yeah, if people come down, um, if we can spread the word about bringing your own cups, uh, plates, and silverware, that we'll have wash basins to wash them out. But um, if people can bring their own dishes, uh, they'd be extremely helpful to us. Um, and there will be a place to wash those. Um, let's see here. Uh, hey, Jason. Jason, you got that list that we made for the GA? Can I see it? Uh, stuff, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm no, no, I mean, it's, it's been... It's been, 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 it's
Okay, so what, I think we've pretty much covered everything. Yeah, the biggest yeah. issue is right now things seem to be pretty calm. The church is supporting us um, being here. So yeah, we're really... Some poles. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're really worried about um, right now our main priority is getting up ready for an inspection in terms of health and sanitary purposes. Um, so that's what we're working on. Also, uh, if anyone can volunteer and has help in terms of transport and getting stuff that we need here, um, if they come down and talk to us, it'd be really helpful if we have some people that can go out and make a run. Um, we do have a little bit of donation money, so for some essential things to get up and sanitary, um, we can reimburse people for, for some yeah, of the yeah, things we happily. need. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I think that about covers it. I'll come on and get on. If you guys could please also retweet all this information, it would be extremely helpful to spread the word because these are the things, at this point, um, sort of these uninformed donations that we're getting are almost becoming a hindrance and, and there are really some very specific things um, that we're concerned about right now. Can, yeah, can I just jump on? Yeah, it's stuff like salad goods, things like that, anything that's going to go off really quickly, they really are not used to it. Thank you for your book for anyone's bombed out. We really need to, to look at stuff that's going to be able to store for a long time. We're going to be able to bulk feed a lot of people, so just to really stress that as well. So, um, also, are we, are we going to be looking for gas, but we don't know what yet? Yeah, well, we'll wait, we'll wait on that one, but if anybody doesn't know really good cheap gas um, suppliers and cylinder gas supplies in the local area that'd be really helpful as well so any information anybody can give on that side and possibly catering supplies as well anybody who might be friendly so we can actually have that as a all right we've got one Questions or anything? Uh, 